what's going on guys it's your boy henry from hz gaming for you and today i am going to teach you guys how to play main arcade games online net play co-op with your friends believe it or not the time has come for me to teach you guys how to do it now guys this tutorial may seem a little bit complicated but do not get distracted by any of the visuals kind of matrix looking type of you know uh, codes or anything like that just focus on the following every single step on the video uh, that way we could go ahead and uh, help grow the community and and uh, and, and, and go ahead and uh, play online play on online main games with each other you know uh, we just barely started a group just to uh, just to simply play with each other uh, maybe games like Streets of Rage uh, or maybe uh, WWE F, uh, the old school game, you know, WrestleMania and Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter games, any great main game online. So against each other. So I'm gonna teach you guys now uh, what what programs to get. Go and download quickly, and how to set everything up with your firewall. So this is the following thing I'm gonna teach you guys. First, how to uh, you know download main ROMs. Uh, that's up to you. There's plenty of places out there. Go to Google. Uh, you could just go ahead and, uh, uh, for example, just uh, type in the, f the the name of your uh, the ROM you're looking for, and just follow by the word main, and you, it should get you to the right place. I'm also going to teach you guys how to download and install Mame Hub. Mame Hub is the interface in order that allows you uh, to uh, net play against your friends. It's like a party room uh, or lobby. Creates like a lobby in your computer, um, and also a simple port forwarding. This is to uh, set up, a, open a port in your router that allows Mame, you know, Mame Hub to uh, create that that uh, that room and allow everybody to connect uh, with you, your or your friends. So it seems complicated now, but I'm gonna take you guys step by step. Uh, third step, I'm gonna teach you guys how to understand and set up port forwarding for Mame Hub. Number four, allow port forwarding on your computer's firewall that means that computers automatically block this you know uh, they, they they're not gonna allow anybody to just automatically connect to your computer so uh, if you want somebody to connect to your game emulator so therefore you must allow it through your firewall and I will teach you how now how to host and join a game with your friends or family uh, I'm gonna teach you number five so let's go ahead and go right through it how to download main ROMs? Well, very easy. Just go ahead and type in the name of whatever you want to play. Let's say you want to do uh, see Mortal Kombat 2 main. All right, it'll take me to this uh, website here. Emo Paradise. There's maybe a couple of uh, dozens of websites, but. You could just go ahead and just check out the game, you know. This is an actual arcade game that you would play back in those days and you had to add a quarter and everything. So download the game and you know and just make a little collection of games uh, before you get started. Uh, that way you have something, you know, to play with. Um, let me go back here. Next uh, we are gonna go ahead and get main hub and simple portfolio. First, just go ahead and type in simple port forwarding. Should be first link on top. This is the way it looks. Little software, very simple. It's not nothing major, so don't worry, guys. <clears throat> but it does great things. Uh, um, so from there, let's see where to oh, download. Oh, I'm sorry, it was in the corner right here. So, all right, so just pick anyone. It's gonna take you to their forum, and then you just download from any of these links. And it started there. So just wait to start downloads, and you're complete. And save it there. Next step, you just go ahead and do Mame Hub. Now the Mame Hub uh, website right now. I think it's under maintenance. I was trying to log in, and it's uh, this is coming out. See, usually like a nice interface, and 
uh, with a download so but uh, click here download and get it right away and download it it's about maybe 65 megabytes the, the software and you download it and now that you got the, your ROMs and uh, and the port forwarding software all you do is pretty much go back to your get everything together on your desktop so there you have it you got all three files what I did was I created a folder called ROMs and uh, that's I added a couple of ROMs here all right so uh, you know pretty much I did a little collection there then uh, pretty the second thing you're gonna do is um, unpack main hub take out the folder drag it to your desktop go in there make sure everything is okay all right now this is the the file that launches your main hub and installs it first and this is to update your firewall there's something we're gonna click later on so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install main hub now I'm gonna go ahead and put a full screen so you can see it you may look a little bit kind of like matrix but this is actually how all softwares look when they're installing this the way it looks in the background uh, but what companies do they just add you like a nice little box that you click next 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 and makes it look a little bit more pretty you know so you but this is actually the way your software looks when it's installing you know on your computer but see so there uh, <clears throat> all you do pretty much is uh, you when it, you could log in using your Facebook or your Google but or you could create an account so click create an account and you could go ahead and create one and it'll take you back to the screen uh, but I already have an account so I'm gonna log, go ahead and log in with mine with my username AC Gaming for you I'm gonna click save so I don't have to get put in the password all the time now one first time that you log in to uh, see everything's looking in the background let me minimize it now first time you launch it's gonna tell you the following has detected that you do not have port 6805 open on both TCP and UDP <clears throat> remember this the port number 6805 you can write it down on the notepad if you want you could probably go ahead and <clears throat> 6805 it's gonna be the same for everybody so don't worry and then on the TCP and UDP so this is the way you're gonna do this also it's gonna tell you that you need to update this emulator this is an emulator that launches main games it's actually a main emulator but also uh, you know you could connect with others as you can see there's one person online right now which is status is away but and I'm online now but if your other friends were online they'll be listed here so let me put this up you go to file and you're gonna update the emulator right, it's gonna start up updating down here so just wait until you see where it says done so I'm just gonna pause the video real quick until you, it's done and it looks like it's done it's, it actually finished like five seconds after <laughs> after I pause the video so there you have it it's done so now it's updated but you can't you can't play online yet because uh, you need to open the port 6805 what that what a port is is pretty much a passageway for this emulator to connect to your computer and allow the computer to allow it for it to connect to it in order for you to be able to communicate and play with friends online which makes sense now like playstations and things like that and xbox they do that automatically so you don't have to go through that but we're trying to play retro games here and old school games so this we have to do it the hard way uh, but you only have to do this one time so now i'm gonna help you guys how to set up your router with this any router and that's what we're gonna be using this little software that's gonna do all the job for you you don't have to worry about it so let's go ahead and uh, close this for now so we got this set up for now so, all right so you could go ahead and click update firewall if you want to 
what this does is just updates your firewall with whatever you did at the moment but uh, it's not really you know I like to do it one time right there and that's it just uh, now I'll go ahead and install it's gonna install into you like a regular very small software <clears throat> all right so once you open the little software it's gonna start scanning it's gonna update the databases of routers these are routers like for you you know for your house you know you like your maybe Comcast router your AT&T router or maybe you have a Linksys maybe you have a Cisco router this will help you open the port so that you could allow you know play with friends temporarily now this right side don't worry about looking scary so just follow what I'm doing this you don't have to do anything just close it uh, first thing we're gonna do here we're gonna find your router so you go towards your go to your router right now and look up the name if it's a Linksys or if it's an AT&T router whatever it is uh, look at the brand whatever it is on the router and it should have a number like uh, like uh, the brand and then a little serial number all of, like on the body of the router so what you do is you look it up here all of them should be listed here all of them mine's is a yeah it's a technicolor which is by by comcast Xfinity. there it is Technicolor TCA 305C that's my router it's Finity so uh, once you put put it there it's automatically gonna put their default username and password the routers are usually admin and then the password is password or or the username is admin and the password is admin so if you if it's not if you ever want to log into your router uh, yeah your default password um, you could go ahead and google it but this software does it for you so you don't have to do that so once you have everything set up here your router you automatically found everything perfectly all we're gonna do is we are going to open the port just like uh, main hub set so you're gonna right click here you're gonna add new you're gonna add a custom and we're gonna go ahead and name name it uh, the first one name hub one remember we're gonna do a TCP remember that's what a, the software was asking us TCP and UDC see so we're gonna do one of each the port this is where we, you're gonna grab the port that you wrote down 6805 that it was asking you for so you're gonna put 6805 and you could put 6806 here that doesn't matter all it's gonna do is gonna open the 6805 and the 6806 so then here automatically your IP address will be generated for your temporary IP address and then you go ahead and click add so now you got the TCP now we're gonna go ahead and do the the UDP we're gonna do main hub 2 we're gonna go ahead and put UDP we're gonna do exactly the same thing 6805 6806 so and add now that you got both there all you're gonna do you're gonna go ahead and uh, click the button that says update router and this automatically is gonna add the ports these two ports to your router it's gonna allow it allow the main hub and uh, all your friends to be able to play with you online so you're gonna go ahead and click Oh my bad about that guys, so you have to close that right side there. Alright, so pretty much what we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you know just uh, update the router and what this should do is it's gonna combine both both of them in inside your router. So there you have it. it's gonna go ahead and log into your router automatically. It's gonna go ahead and enable port forwarding for you. You could do the, all that manually. So it's automatically gonna put the Name hub one, put everything for you that you put over there on the other so little software. 
I'll see how what you did it you, you combine both of them uh, so I think this one's gonna be duplicate then oh that's pretty cool you just combine both files into one I mean both yeah see just cancel all right so there you have it you just created you put both of them TCP and UDP so it looks like your router is ready to go um, and you should have no problem now playing with with people with your friends and family online so we're done with this small with this small software you're probably never going to see this again uh -huh, so you just go ahead and close it forever <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go ahead the final step is first I'm gonna go ahead and go back to MAME hub and show you guys how uh, even though you have the port open a lot of people t uh, tell me why is it I have my port open I still cannot play online so uh, watch once you log in the same pop-up is gonna come up same thing a lot of people get frustrated there's maybe very little information out there about this and, um, you could go there's no videos uh, they will tell you exactly but I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do because I already kind of spent a couple of hours figuring it out and I did uh, this has to do with your firewall so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna tell you how to set up the firewall this works 100% for Windows 7 Windows 8 and Windows 10 I'm not sure about Windows Vista and Windows anything below but yeah so uh, see still so you're online there's one person online and uh, but you cannot play online yet like it like it told you so we're gonna go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over find your control panel however wherever it is now if you're on your control panel you're gonna go on system and security you're gonna go to Windows firewall and you're gonna click on advanced now in Windows 7 I think it's down here advanced and Windows 8 I think it's on the right side advanced wherever it is just get to Windows firewall and click advanced the same windows gonna come out same thing right, you maximize it now what you want is the inbound rules inbound rule says everything that is coming in to your computer that your window that your windows is allowing now first of all one thing I'm seeing here is that the Java platform is not coming in and and our uh, main hub is all about Java so you have to make sure that if you see any red Java's what you want to do is right click on them click on properties and you want to allow the connection click apply and okay and do the same thing for it. if you see one do it on one if you whatever whichever I don't know why I got four so I'm always messing around online that's why You're probably gonna have just one all right so that's set now what we're gonna do is as you can see here main hub has been added it's already added to the firewall so a lot of people tell me well main hub is already added so what else do I need to do like see main hub is added to the firewall I already opened the port on my router so what the hell am I supposed to do next so this is the where everything will fix this is the fix right here you're gonna click on new rule we don't do a new port click on port and click next we're gonna do a T remember TCP and UDP first click TCP and we're gonna click here the port remember the 6805 6805 we're gonna click next we're gonna allow the connection just like we did to the Java and domain private and public all three <clears throat> and the name we're gonna call it let's call it main hub uh, TCP yeah TCP it will make sense to name it like this okay so we got the first one added now we're gonna do the UDP port next select UDP put the 6805 don't put the 6806 now just put the, the regular first one 
6805 allow everything main hub UDP finish now you have main UDP main TCP allowed on your computer you have all the Java you got everything all the main hub firewall looks good so close everything up just close now ladies and gentlemen we should have a fully working MAME hub if I'm not mistaken what should not open there'll be like a blooper <laughs> I'm pretty confident though and as you can see no pop-up and you are officially online ready to go this is the interface you can say what's up what what's up <laughs> there we go what's up but there's only one person and it seems like they're away but if you invite your friends and they do exactly this this is the only time you have to do this so now how do you play online first you have to load up your games see okay right now it, it loaded up for you these are all the games that are available for main but you don't have no game set up yet so you cannot play any of them they should come up in green like like these these are these are uh, the ones that come with the system but nobody likes these I mean I don't I haven't even tried them so so what we're gonna do here we're gonna audit your games we're gonna click on audit we're gonna select a folder now on the ROMs folder just leave it leave it alone uh, and what we're gonna do is you know what I do apologize we're gonna have to close MAME hub first because we have to go over to the folder that you're gonna keep MAME hub wherever it is now inside the MAME hub folder go to MAME hub repo go to binaries and you're gonna go over to ROMs see this where you put all your ROMs all your ROMs so this is the folder of ROMs that you, sh you should have collected already that we were talking about I have Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3 uh, Streets of Race 2 you know WWE I mean F uh, WrestleFest so I'm just gonna drop the folder there it's gonna replace there you go so now I got a couple of games in there Mortal Kombat so now that you put your games in that folder specifically you could go back and you could launch MAME Hub and then your game should be scanned and added to that list <clears throat> guys sorry is this, this video is a little bit long but I like I like explaining things as I go I want to make sure that you know what you're doing as as you're doing it you know and not just uh, follow a tutorial but you have no clue what what it is so now you know exactly how everything works you know about ports you know about firewall all right so uh, now um, there you go that's the list of games so I'm gonna go ahead and rescan folder or I'm gonna go ahead and search for the game here let me look for WWF WrestleFest let's see if it works I think it's scanning my bad okay I see what it did see what it did it took a little bit it took about 20 seconds to scan that's because I press audit and scan so it was scanning uh, that folder that I added games and it found a couple of games as you can see Mortal Kombat see the ones that I was telling you about Streets of Rage Super Street Fighter Turbo so what, we, what you basically do in order to play online with your friends so your friends have to pretty much be here they got to be online of course do exactly what you did and then all, the, all, all you're gonna do one of you guys are gonna launch the game so let's see I want to play uh, Mortal Kombat 2 I double click on the game I mean, yeah I like, to, I, I like to put the volume all the way up uh. 
see? Oh, I'm sorry for, for the tutorial, you know. This is with the plus, with the... You do this with the, uh... With the plus and the, and the minus on your keyboard. Alright, so... So pretty much, uh, you, you're there. And you see here, click to join. So it says, AC Gaming is hosting a game. I'm hosting Mortal Kombat 2. And then if you're here, one of these people, like this guy right now online, you see, Cheyenne, he could click join the game and he's going to be playing against me, Mortal Kombat. If you want to put it on full screen, you could go all the way up here, see, and uh, connect it to your plasma, it's going to look bigger, and go ahead and whoop each other's ass. If you want to set up the remote, what you pretty much do, you click, uh, let me put the volume down a little bit more. Okay. If you want to set up the remotes on main, you press tab and then you see input general, this for all the games, or input this game just for this game alone. You get the video options, different resolutions. Oh, look, that resolution is a little bit wider. I like it. Um, there you go. I'm going to keep it and input this game. There you go. Player one start, player one two start, coin. Whatever you want, up, down, left, the buttons, do everything that you need. And then you press tab again. And you go and go ahead and start the game, you know? You know what I'm talking about? So there you have it guys. Um somebody see, my game is done. I was the only one hosting a game right now. Uh any of these two people would have they could have joined if they wanted to. So there you have it guys, uh, how to play main games online with your friends and you have a nice little uh, chat room here uh, and everything. But uh, of course if you want to use voice chat, just go ahead and go on the Facebook Messenger and call each other and just use a Bluetooth headset or, and that's pretty much it, you know, and you, you have your, your microphone. So guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them, drop them on the comments below. And this is your boy. Henry from HZ Gaming for you, signing off. Peace.